Welcome. All right. So we have seen about freestyle job. In this video, we will look into another post build action. Basically, that that action is going to be about the code coverage. I am Kumar, and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So we will be using the Cobertura code coverage report. So Cobertura is a reporting tool that actually calculates the test coverage for our code base. It was actually designed for Java based projects, but uh, this we can use it for our our Python based projects as well. It's a free Java tool actually, and it will calculate the percentage of code which has unit test. Okay. And it can be used to identify which parts of our code are lacking test coverage. So for that, we are going to need to install the plugin. So let us go to manage Jenkins and go to manage plugins and go to available and we'll put a search here over Tura. Okay. So this is the plugin Cobra Tura. 1.117 is the current version when I'm recording this and select on this and uh, install without restart. So, yep, so let it install. Okay, so looks like the installation is done. Let's go back to our top page and let us go back to our project which we created in our previous session. So, we'll go to configure, then we'll scroll down and we have to add the post build action and add post build action if you select this one you should see publish coverage report and publish coverage cobertura coverage report so we are going to use this one publish cobertura coverage report so but before that we need to update our code to run the coverage report in an xml file so for that we have to change our script a little bit here we need to add few options in here to generate the report so that this post build action can show the report in our jenkins console okay so first thing we need to do is we need to install the plugin because this requirements.txt does not have that package so we have to do pip install by test does cov sorry cov and then we have to provide this option while running our py test test dash dash cough and the folder which on which we want to run this coverage report so the main folder is the source code folder which has, has all the python code so this code this folder all the python code needs to be checked inside this main folder and then finally we have to add one more line and that one is python minus m so coverage and xml okay so python minus m coverage xml this is going to generate our xml file and this same xml file we are going to use it for our report in this jenkins so add post build action and publish cobertura coverage report and you can scroll up you should see that option showing up in here, here before the test results okay so usually in a development cycle uh, the code coverage reports are generated earlier that's why jenkins is quite intelligent enough to put this coverage report before the unit test report okay so so here we need to put the xml file so this is going to be generated in the same folder where this job is running python minus m coverage xml so i am going to just put it here coverage star dot xml so once it is run you will be able to see this xml file in the folder and this plugin post publish cobertura coverage report is going to take that xml and show it in the jenkins console okay so let us do an apply and save it and let us do a build now okay let us go into the studio out console output and looks like it got finished execution so publishing cobertura coverage report report found and so our test also ran fine so let's go back to our job and you should start to see this code coverage in this console here okay so this is good so we are able to run the coverage report and generate it you can use this plugin for your java projects as well so i am running a python project but uh, yeah this is mainly used for the java based projects you can start to see the link in here coverage report you can click this link and you can get into more details for this plugin as well as your also your codes test coverage report from here as well and you can go inside this link to see which files are having problem and other more other details about this coverage report okay so that's it then in this session so we have seen how to use the cobertura coverage report to generate our test coverage for our python code so thank you for watching i hope it has helped you in some way please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe in order to support me thanks for that see you in the next video